Thank you, my hero, Arnold. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is what March looks like in Canada, so I get the opportunity to go to Australia. I am taking it. Tour looks like landing in Melbourne, going to Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth, a little bit of the outback. Just a little view of downtown Melbourne where the big event is going down. Australian Arm Wrestling Federation. These are the great people who brought me out for the third time, so I right, uh, love these people. I got to arm wrestle two of the best the guys coming up in Australia, Ryan and Lachlan. Ryan, if you want to see the full man, videos, Scott. check it out Australian on the, uh, the Australian this Arm Wrestling Federation site or Pound for Pound. It has a lot of the great videos as well. I have a few little clips on my channel as well if you want to check out more. And Devin uh, just this is the biggest event that they have in Australia on an annual basis. It's it's a great God, yeah, event to great. plan a trip around. Oh, Arnold's are so much fun, and this is where most of Australia gets together to showcase their talent. Complete hand control. I like it when people lift their elbows. And Devin Lorat, all day long, 1-0, Devin. Mass wrestling, yes. super cool. Man, it's got so much technique. Like, I love it. I suck at it. So if you guys haven't ever been to an Arnold's before, you'll just get to see me walk around a little bit. Arnold's highlights awesome sporting events, uh, fitness stuff, beautiful people selling products on fitness, uh, really anything for the fitness enthusiast. So here's me just walking around a bit and checking out the sites. Matawara the Beast and tomorrow's New Zealand's number one heavyweight. Slip in the middle of the table, we go to straps. So my training camp started here at the Arnold's. Got to do a massive amount of arm wrestling with a wide range of skilled people. Here I am with Oceanic Champ. Big Matty actually won it again this year. So good for him, congratulations. Anybody in New Zealand looking to get hooked up with arm wrestling, definitely get in touch with, uh, with Big Matt. He'll, uh, he'll definitely point you in the right direction. And uh, Mario, one of the up and coming talents from Sydney. This guy was super strong. I think that he actually cracked Dan Mosier. Uh, maybe once or twice on Dan's last trip down under with Pound for Pound. I, I arm wrestled a ton of people, uh, basically anybody who would come by the stand. I was I was uh, lucky enough to to get to have great workouts all through the week. Ready? Go. Oh, oh man, you are way stronger than you are. You're so much better than me. <laughs> Franco, don't get 
get tired, buddy. You're up very, very soon. Don't break your arm, Branko. Put your arm, Branko. He was going to break our position. Tomo Glacier to his left. There's the big hit from Lachlan. Good and one good. elbow foul on Lachlan there. There. Takes the risk, but Tom is holding on to this. Lachlan so close, Tom not giving up. Lachlan are there with a tough, tough fought match over his teammate Tom, and Tom takes fourth place in this incredible. amazing weekend um, and I'm a big lover of food the hotels had the best buffets oh my god I made my stomach like almost split again because they're all all you can eat um, yeah so it started the whole process of getting massive I arm wrestled every single day while I was in Australia, and I ate to match. So, show you some of this beautiful food. And after uh, after the Arnold's is all done, we all got together and had good times at night too. So, great experience. Yeah, but if someone wants to say, did you know? We're only spending That's my great if we do. If, if, if you deliver us four. So far. What? Contract. Okay. Yeah, sure. The beaches in Australia are so beautiful. Um, they got these little jelly things all over the place. I had no idea what they were, but uh, Andrew Lee's boy liked to throw them at me. Anyways, I don't think they're, they're poisonous. Anybody who's in this area, get in touch with Andrew Lee. What you're looking at here is the House of Pain. It is one of the most hardcore training centers I've ever gotten the pleasure to work out in. Uh, these guys train uh, once or twice a week, so definitely get in touch. We had such a great seminar to, to start the whole seminar flow. On to Sydney. Well, uh, thanks so much for coming out tonight, guys and girls. Uh, it's uh, it's great for me to be here because this is like there's no better training for me than to do a ton of arm wrestling. Uh, the way we'll kind of do it is at any point, anything you guys want to ask, that's the most important thing. We'll we'll talk about stuff. Otherwise, I'll kind of talk a bit. Uh, we'll arm wrestle, talk, arm wrestle. But it's really, it's about what you guys want from me. I've, I've loved arm wrestling like crazy uh, since I was very young. And now I'm 40, almost 44. So I've, I've been through a lot of the different phases of, of arm wrestling progression. And uh, yeah, here I am, still loving it. So... Uh,
with my buddy Oswald. He took me to see the Blue Mountains. Uh, beautiful, beautiful expanse. Nice look out here. Anybody who's from this region who wants to get in touch with arm wrestling, just find the Sydney Arm Wrestling page or go through Australian Arm Wrestling Federation. I'm sure you'll find your way to Oswald and uh, get you hooked up in the region. What a beautiful part of the world this is. Really, really breathtaking. You guys are all really lucky. Stop Brisbane, got to hang out with Blue Bowen. Here I am with the president, Phil Rasmussen, and Danny Tesh. Here you go. Who's your best? Phil Who's is your best the best guy? Street Fighter player I've ever played Michael. in my life. Marcio Barbosa. Michael goes man. You are dead meat! Oh, shit. I don't think I won five games that whole weekend. Mortal Kombat, that's the answer. And Amy's just as good at arm wrestling as she is at Bollywood. Do you mind if I film this and put it on oh, my YouTube fine. channel? Yes, you win. Yeah? Who's gonna win? Who's, okay. gonna, who's gonna win? I Who do you think is gonna win? I, I reckon Matt's gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at the size uh, of his arms. Are you kind of down? No. All right. Okay. All right. Let me see. How do you guys both feel? Um, I feel good. Uh, fucked at best. Well, you want to get? Why don't you get a better grip? <laughs> How do you feel now? I still fucked. That's why. Well, get a grip that you're not fucked in. <laughs> Let's go. Are you good? All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Champion, champion! Yours rocked. Pitch for your meat chicken roll. Ready to go. A lot of the good parts of the seminars have been pumped out by Blue on the pound for pound. So I really encourage you guys, if you want to have a more in-depth look at the seminars that I did uh, and, and training and arm wrestling, it was captured. So please go and check it out. I hope you like it. You're either moving forward or you're moving back. <laughs> Brisbane Heavy Hitters probably has the deepest talent pool in Australia that I came across. You got real students of the sport in Blue Bowen, Jordan Davis, Danny Tesh, Fatafe, uh, Lachlan, the president uh, lives there, Phil, and this freak here, Marcus, so much potential. Next stop is Adelaide. So I've been arm wrestling every day and the travel, I'm starting to get a little bit tired at this point. Um, here I am with Gunther's, Bykoff's, uh, silver medalist, uh, really, really tremendous arm wrestler. And Gunther's is actually a minister, so in his good natured way, he, he sensed that I was getting pretty tired and uh, took me to the countryside for some really nice peaceful reflection. Uh, Gunter is, is a minister, so you know when it comes to all sorts of spiritual things, he's just a super wise dude and really, really great to talk to.
And after the seminar, Rocco was so awesome. This dog, I love this dog. Uh, he's like the best training partner you could ever have. Here's one of the churches that uh, that Gunther preaches at. This is in the Barossa Wine Valley. As you can see here, as soon as you get into the valley, as far as you can see is vineyards and grapes and wineries. Beautiful place. And yeah, all around this great country is just epic beaches. And next stop, we are on to Perth to visit my good buddy, Rick Kamana. You can absolutely see what's going on to this every weekend. Yeah. It's so nice. It's too bad we don't have time to actually walk around the island. Yeah. So, anyway. Um, we weren't really that worried. Well, a little bit worried, right? Because there was no one in the water. But then we seen these young ladies over here, and they're wearing black suits. And we were thinking, we need bait. So we'll just walk beside them the whole way. It's worked out well for us. You feel pretty confident? Seals. Yeah. Yeah. So feeling pretty confident. We're good, we're nearly there, so good choice to come. seminar that we had um, was one of the biggest ones of the whole tour. Lots of new people and we housed it out of Gold's gym. So great night. Then on to the bush with the milkman out in Bunbury. Raiden! Raiden! <laughs> That's all right. Don't forget, you've got to try to beat Ron Barth's record. Oh, is, this is he? What's he doing? Does he know? <laughs> it's about three.
Wrestling Federation, thank you so much for having me out. This third time, I feel like uh, you guys are like a big family to me. Uh, I've got so many great memories from all the people I got to meet, train with, everybody who showed me little parts of your lives and your country. Um, really, thank you so much. And I got to train every single day, getting ready for April 18th. I um, hope I was able to give you guys some knowledge that um, you might not have otherwise gotten. Um, yeah, thanks so much for the memories. You guys have got a beautiful country. And anybody who gets a chance to go to Australia, do it especially get to the Arnolds in Melbourne happens every year and it's a big massive great event so maybe we'll see you there sometime um, good luck Australia destroy the oceanic region <laughs>